In this session, I am going to explain about organic memory devices. First, let us see what are organic memory devices. These are the memory devices which are fabricated with organic semiconductors like P-type or N-type semiconductor. Example is pentacene, which is a P-type semiconductor. One more example is perfluoropentazine, which is N-type semiconductor. Now let us discuss about P-type semiconductor, which is used in organic memory devices. Pentacene is the example for P-type semiconductor. It contains five benzene ring, which are linearly connected. As I mentioned, it is P-type semiconductor. In order to construct a memory device, pentacene is sandwiched between two electrodes, cathode and anode. This pentacene molecule act as the active layer in the memory device. When a voltage is applied across the two electrodes, electron flow will take place from anode to pentacene layer. The flow of electrons causes a change in electrical properties such as resistance or capacitance. This change can be used to represent a binary digit of information such as 0 or 1. The state of the memory device can be read by applying a smaller voltage across the two electrodes and measuring the resulting current. Now let us see N-type semiconductor which is used in organic memory devices. Perfluoropentacene is an example for N-type semiconductor. The structure is same as pentacene except all the hydrogen atoms are replaced with fluorine atoms. In order to construct the memory device, perfluoropentacene is sandwiched between two electrodes, cathode and anode. This perfluoropentacene molecule acts as the active layer in the memory device. When a voltage is applied across the two electrodes, the cathode receives the electrons from perfluoropentacene layer. The flow of electrons causes a change in the electrical properties such as resistance or capacitance. This change can be used to represent a binary digit of information such as 0 or 1. The state of the memory device can be read by applying a, a smaller voltage across the two electrodes and measuring the resulting current.